Okay, welcome to another G.I. Joe Classified 6-inch uh, scale uh, action figure review. This time we're going to have a look at one that I, up until very recently, I figured I would never possess because of the high price tag on it. Uh, figure number 09, Snake Supreme Cobra Commander. Uh, the real lesson here is patience and seeking out good deals and creative keyword searches uh, on the internet. And as a result of my perseverance, I now have this particular figure in my collection. Now, it, it wasn't exclusive, which is one of the reasons it's so expensive now, is because the scalpers all uh, scoop these up and they've been sitting on them and now they can charge whatever they want to for them. Uh, and, of course, uh, they weren't made in huge quantities either. But, this one comes in a special box. It has this uh, little uh, cardboard insert with a box inside. And the gimmick here is that the box opens up sort of like an Indiana Jones puzzle, I guess. And, uh... You get the uh, the figure and all the accessories uh, on the inside. I could have done without this. Uh, uh, this is fine, but I, I'm fully cognizant that this increased the retail price on this uh, setup. And uh, just a, a normal package would have been just fine. But I have to say, the figure itself is superb. And um, yes, it is a repaint of the uh, regular Cobra Commander as well as the Regal variant, which isn't here yet, but that's on the way as well uh, at the time of this filming. And before I'm done here, we'll compare the two figures, but let's just go ahead and pick this figure up. And the first thing you're going to notice is that he's got a cape, and I was wrong about this cape. I figured it was going to be the same sort of crappy plastic that Pimp Daddy Destro's cape is made out of. Not so, folks. This is cloth goods, and it's actually really cool. It's got a snake scale pattern on the back, well made. Uh, there's little elastic bands around the shoulders keeping it on there. Uh, neat little cobra clasps. They don't really clasp though. They're just for decoration, but that's cool. And uh, I do think that if this was a figure that was going to be played with a lot, uh, over time those this elastic would, would break and come loose because, you know, kids are jerks. And that's, uh, you know, uh, something, if kids were playing with these and they're not. Uh, that would be one of the first things that kids would, would break on these. Um, what a neat looking figure. It's, you know, you're looking at black, red, and gold as far as a color scheme. The gold cobra symbols on the um, uh, gauntlets there. And now the cobra symbol on the chest is, is just painted black and covered up by this chain. They should have painted that red uh, and to, to make that stand out. I like the red and gold collar there on his, I'm going to call it his Emperor's Uniform. Now, that I don't know if there's precedent for this design in the comics or in a TV show or maybe one of those crappy movies, but um, this is Cobra Commander at his most arrogant and his most uh, self-important. Uh, you know, it reminds me a lot of Starscream in Transformers the movie, wearing his little clo cloak, voiced by the same human, by the way. Cobra Commander and Starscream, Christopher Latta. Again, I can't remember what I had for breakfast this morning, but I know the name of an actor from the, a voice actor from the 1980s, whom I've never met, but that's just the way it goes. Okay, so the um, soft goods on here, this figure, just a little different than on the uh, regular issue Cobra Commander. He's got a belt with uh, a sword sheath and a pistol holster. Why would he have a pistol holster? Because uh, the other Cobra Commander did not well, because he comes with the a different weapon, and we'll look at that in just a minute. Uh, let's just admire it, folks. I think that looks really cool. Uh, look at the red and gold highlights on the helmet there. The power of paint, folks. Uh, the uh, face shield has a, a somewhat gold tinge to it as well. It's it's still silver, I think. No, it's it's just a the gold is less vibrant than the rest of the figure, but. I think this is a really cool figure. I've already checked all the joints on it. No problems there. Uh, he doesn't really swivel at the waist at all because of, of this gear on him. And I can sort of bend him back like this, but not forward. He's very limited in his range of motion at the waist and at the uh, abs and the torso. But what a neat figure. This one's going to be a problem to display because of the length of the cloak. It's going to get in the way because... Uh, it's a tight fit for all my Joes on my dresser right now. I'm going to have to come up with a new solution. Uh, oh, and look at these designs there on the legs. Mirroring this brocade pattern, I guess you'd call that. I'm sure if I looked at that really close, almost almost feels Aztec or Mayan 
without looking at it with my reading glasses on to see what it is. Uh, again, there may be precedent for this design in the comic books or uh, on a, a cartoon I have not seen. Uh, but this truly is a deluxe G.I. Joe classified figure, and I have no problem in saying they did a really good job with this figure. It's a shame it costs so much today, though. It's, it's very, very prohibitive in cost, but that's, that's largely the fault of the scalpers and the idiots willing to pay those prices. And, um, you know, in this case, though, I can't blame them. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite a, a, a spectacular figure. Um, let's have a look at a few of his accessories here. Now, he comes with the same extra fists or extra hands as the regular version of Cobra Commander. So you've got the trigger hand and this hand, which I think I know what to do with this here in just a moment at last. Uh, an accusatory uh, pointing finger and just a fist. He comes with four different hands. He comes with this, uh, this gold sword. Uh, the sword is the same as the one that comes with the regular Cobra Commander. It's just been repainted. And the paint application does help. Now I'm curious to see how this one fits in this different design. This different sword sheet. Oh... Well, we can get it down in there a little further, I bet. Uh, it's got to go down in there just a little more, or that... Nope, I think we're good. So the uh, cobra head faces backwards on this. That might be... Frankly, I bet this can go down even further. Let's... Yeah. I like it. I prefer it this way, folks. With the cobra... With the serpent head facing forward. That is kind of going to get in the way of his, his hand there. So I can see, you know, he would always have his... He would always be gripping the hilt of that sword while he's walking. That's that's what I envision. Looks cool, and it's the sheath is better than the sheath on the regular design, or the regular issue uh, figure. Now he also comes with a much, much, much better weapon uh, than this one came with. Remember, the, this Cobra Commander came with a a, a stupid plastic flintlock pistol from the uh, I don't know 18th century. It looked it, terrible, terrible weapon. This one. Despite looking sort of like a Flash Gordon gun, much better. Much more suitable for this figure. And this goes down in this holster like so. And uh, uh, more and more I'm using Valiver's weapons with all my G.I. Joe figures. But this one would be okay for him if I even choose to give him a weapon. We may go with his scepter. In the shape of a cobra head, because of course it is. And I think I might display him. I'm going to try to put it in his hand now, but I think we'll display that, holding that in his hand. Maybe he's, maybe he's crowned himself the emperor of cobra and plans to somehow uh, uh, usurp Serpentor. Um, surprised there's not a Serpentor figure yet. You know what? But I bet there's one coming soon. Uh, it probably costs hundreds of dollars as well. Oh my God, I hope it's not a uh, HasLab exclusive. Uh, well, um, we'll talk about that another day. Uh, this figure is great, and at last we have this little accessory. It is a globe, and that's, I think that's, a, yeah, there's Africa, there's Europe, there's North America. It's the planet Earth in miniature form. Let me see if I'm right. Let me see if that's what this hand is for. I knew it. So that's uh, why that hand is shaped the way it is. They probably had this figure planned before they even uh, marketed this one. Uh, so that's a neat accessory to come with this. Uh, that'll be fun. To, I don't know if I want to display it because that's going to fall out of his hand. Um, especially if, if a Kiko or the Baroness causes a domino effect and wipes them all out, you know. that's And I don't want this falling behind my dresser. So it looks great, though. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, it's a easily... Uh, probably the best G.I. Joe classified action figure from a design and a paint scheme standpoint. Um, so far, I mean, I've only, I'm only up to barbecue. There's still the Alley Viper and the Battle Android Trooper and everything else that's on pre-order right now uh, that, that I don't have yet. But uh, So far, this is hands down the, <laughs> the tops in the G.I. Joe classified series. And if you disagree with that, well, you're just going to have to agree to disagree. Uh, we're all entitled to our own opinions, and uh, but yeah, that's a and he's going to be a problem to display with all the others because of the length of the cape, uh, which is going to drag behind him when he walks, kind of like Dracula in the Francis Ford Coppola film. Uh, but 
Yeah, that's 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 on brand for Cobra Commander. Uh, well done, Hasbro. I mean, I probably don't say that enough. And I know there's people out there that think I hate uh, Hasbro because I support Valiverse in in their new uh, Action Force series. I, that's not how this works, folks. I can support both lines, and I can tell both companies when they're doing a great job, and vice versa. But there we are. Cobra Commander uh, Snake Supreme. Uh, good luck, if you don't already possess this, good luck finding it at a at a reasonable, sane price. It, it is it is difficult uh, to find it at a good price anymore. You can thank the scalpers for that. And, uh, and you can also thank uh, the fanboys for paying scalpers prices for these. But in this case, I can kind of see why. All right, now you know, folks, and knowing is half the battle. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again real soon.